Okay, I normally would not do this stuff. Um, Romano got, gets married in, uh, what is this year, Petersburg. Uh, this man here. He's got a few extra kilos, right? You, you can see that he's got a few extra kilos. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why I connected with him a little better. Maybe the two of us. I like him because um, everybody looked down on me, you know. When I had a lot of extra kilos, I, uh, I observed that. Uh, the worst is they keep deleting me from from the internet right but this year this was not my prime uh, I mean sure you can see that I had extra kilos here uh, but my prime my prime was when I met Mr. Romano in Italy and his beautiful bride uh, I went there with Harry, with the Prince Harry, which to me personally didn't make no effing sense. He was all over the place. A lot of time, more and more in the US. That's what made even less sense. And then it made sense when you see him officially heading to the US where he already have his little uh, establishment in the right place Hollywood there's a lot of wannabes right there and so it's like a perfect place now I really have to work a little bit to get down I did a lot of videos here I see but it was a time when I was probably more obese than Mr. Romanov and uh, you know frankly when I was around these people around these circles, you know, based on my stuff that I have done in my life, you know, and that you have some kind of a nobody's coming in your face uh, and basically acting like some kind of a patrons of yours. That's me. That's myself. I tell you that I was more, I was more than, I was more of these than Romano, I would I would say, but I was always athletic. That's that's one thing about me. That's me. That's myself. Oh, look at that. That's because he is under enormous pressure, and America is basically. There you go. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so in his home of Romano, it's just about the same thing. He does need to lose some weight. He does. He does. But this man is a very nice man this is a man I connected with very good with his bride yeah she was very happy too I like her because she was very happy next to him that was very nice of her in Italy and uh, so I was inside of his place inside of his villa um, where the hell is that thing Okay, it's here. I was inside of his uh, villa. I can tell you that he's got nothing from the whales anywhere hanging, anything, anything, except one thing he does. He does have some kind of picture about, I, I suppose, his grandma or something like this next to the British uh, royalty, something like that, some kind of an ounce or something like that. They said, where, where do you have pictures? Where do you have, where you have some stuff, something significant, you know? And I was there with the Harry. What, I, I told him, I said, listen, I told him, man, why don't you take a picture with us right now? Or, you know, take a picture with the Harry, right? That's a Prince Harry, so you take a picture of him. And I mean, the picture was very old, beautiful picture. Uh, but I told him, man, why don't you just uh, take a picture with a Harry, you know, uh, right here, right now, and uh, you're going to have a bigger 
uh, proof, I mean, I suppose, because you're Romanov and all this stuff, so that would do it. You, you two are buddies and so on. And he said, no, 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 no. He said, no, no. I said, w where do you have other stuff? I mean, where, where is the other stuff? Something. I mean, I, I, I said to him, man, you only have, this was on that MK Ultra. You only have this thing. I mean, I said, you know, I told him, you have to work on it. You have to get, uh, you know, to, to get yourself, because this is what this is. This is, this is basically these people inherit titles. So, yeah, there is a special way to work with one another, assisting one another. And Harry also told me he is like in a department of logistics. He is working a lot in the backstage, ensuring the royals uh, would find their way back on stage. You know, even if they are not royals, he wants to make them royals because this is a monarchy, and that's basically really what the hell would you expect? This is what they do, right? They do stuff, they promote, whatever they see the opportunity, they would receive as a feedback that would be beneficial to them. This is just this is just a simple definition of royalism. So yes, I was inside of his villa, and uh, what appealed to me about this guy, uh, this guy is just a very simple man to talk to. He was nothing looking down on me or something like that, you know. Uh, I'm very sensitive to that kind of issue because of a total nobodies, basically babies that would uh, wanted, they wanted to become like my mentors and stuff like this, like uh, knowing more about me than I do myself. Uh, I came across few situations that I swear to God that if it was not lady that would talk to me shit down. Specifically, I have to say that I am thinking about uh, Ursula Lane. I don't know what the hell I would do. I mean, <laughs> you you have no idea how controversial, bizarre stuff. And we go to the circle of these royals in London. You're gonna have a Zara and Philip and uh, William. Where are the boys? Where are the boys? Neighbors asked about where are the boys. They, ask, they keep asking Charles as we would return back here. They're in school. They're in school. They haven't been here for some time. Between I don't know, ninety-seven. 2000 something I was like they were like missing for some time they were like missing um, something like that and then on a period like two years they were missing they, they wouldn't come with the father and um, I have a lot of pleasant memories of these two kids when they were kids you know they liked me a lot um, I sure, you know, uh, wanted them to come here and so on. And so they, they came, you know, they came and they were, they were all crazy running around here. Uh, they did, um, completed a grammar school and uh, there were some kind of examination and stuff like this. And then, then uh, I don't know, he, Charles says, just uh, in six more months, they're gonna come, they're gonna come. And they came. Uh, and this all this for the kids to grow up and look down on you even with idea to change basically who you were so dad would see himself in it uh, they, j they just want to see the things their own way and this is not the way it is this is not how it works as I stated if you go to the company you have to respect seniority you can't go come inside of the company and jump in front of somebody who I'm not gonna say is a manager is a
it doesn't matter even seniority to be honest if you're more qualified that's why i'm very sensitive to the issue but if, holy shit if you're not if you're just coming to this place inside of this house so you can meet russians chinese and other people so you can continue to make connections after already making connections through someone like myself that equal to trillion dollar trade as i was told with the eastern europe holy shit do you know what the fuck you are talking about looking down on somebody like this what do you mean what do you what do you expect from person like this to see you as and even trying to change trying to falsify basically the record about an individual put him in some kind of uh, situations completely unstable I personally feel like a used worn out hooker and don't get me wrong because I do respect ladies that you otherwise refer to as a hooker I'm using this expression from your point of view so that you understand how I see myself as in respect to this case like in German they say Nute Nute means whore Nute that's a hooker a nut as somebody without the peace that doesn't know what the fuck he's doing this is not what I am you are mistaken about it I'm not worn out that much that I would just give in or whatever you expect me to give in either this guy he just wanted me to he said I said that I, I said and if you're a man or maybe if you're a royal I said why don't you just uh, I said, man, why don't you just, um, he's working some kind of, uh, from what I, some kind of financial, some kind of economy, something like this. I should know his entire resume, really. In some kind of financial sector, something like this. Investments, whatever, in that, in that sense. I said, man, if you are a royalty and this and that, why don't you just, um, uh, I mean this is good it's good that you have a job like this definitely it's impressive when compared to myself this is definitely impressive when you do nothing really and you have a, such a wonderful life thanks to title that's fucking impressive you know that's wonderful it's a wonderful world and I'm not blaming for one reason this man uh, th this is a very nice like you would want to have a neighbor second like right next to you a neighbor something like that. this guy is very fucking calm nice person <laughs> I did not have a problem with this guy this guy is just calm you know I like calm people uh, and so I didn't get what the hell uh, and so you know I said at least get some pictures you know get the shit going for you you know so you can secure more contracts or whatever because I go straight on that those issues and so and no 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 he was like he he knew his place you know what he wanted was basically a marriage you know he said and that's what I'm gonna get married he said and I was thinking about myself you know and uh, looking at him and looking at myself and I said uh, well shit you know I, you know I, I wish you a really happy marriage married to this Italian lady he's married uh, he was with the, at the time obviously he was not married he was very happy the two were very happy with one another this lady was uh, I made myself I I was thinking about you see it make me really feel good it made me feel good because this bride was I mean bright to become 
she was so happy next to him, you know? And everybody was putting me just down, you know, like, you're, you're fit, you know? What's the name? Taka, whatever, Taka, Taka Boo or whatever. you have these guys here let me demonstrate to you what is this here DJ cool um, this is obnoxious stuff boy eh? This group of people, this Takabu, this Staka or Stalker, Stakabu. This is all thanks to this. Um, sure, is a beautiful girl, and um, that was the only thing that I was interested in. Um, I didn't give a shit about this aggressive guy you see right there. He looks aggressive. Uh, this guy here, um, I don't even, I didn't even get him, whatever. But Harry William got involved in this music shit, and this is about the food and stuff like this, you know. This, this people made me feel like a shit on, on multiple occasions. I actually even asked Harry, I said, man, why don't you just leave me alone with this food stuff? Uh, you know, um, he said, no, no, not you, not you. I mean, I, it's not that I had a plan to stay like this, uh, but why, why do you treat him like this and why me, you know? I actually complained him about that stuff, about his music harassments and all this shit, the way they see on me down on that opportunity when we left i didn't do this in front of him i'm polite very polite person but still this guy said to me when i asked him i said you know she said marriage you know um you know I, I was actually so happy for the two because like i said this italian lady she was she was happy as any bright possibly could be. If that's what it looked like to me. I mean, I estimated, I evaluated and let it be her that she is very, very happy. Very happy and, uh, you know, I, I was gonna say, hey, you see, you, you see this? And so, uh, uh, he's, he mentioned the marriage and I said to him, I said to him, I said, um, I don't know how it came, okay, but it ended up with, oh no, this is gonna be a big marriage. I want this and I don't know what. And I was like, that's when I was like, hmm. I said to myself, fuck. Uh, uh, I said to myself, man, uh, you're quite ambitious now all of a sudden you know i mean looking at myself looking at him and uh i said to myself for me it's fucked up in 2015 uh i think it was i think it was probably 2015 and it was not 215 it was 217 i don't know i think it was 215 when i was inside of the mental hospital i said man if you only knew the shit I have gone through. And uh, I didn't say anything to him about this stuff, but I said to myself, how the hell are you gonna do this? I know that you have a, 
job here and stuff, and this job was not in particular, I don't know what. I should know in his entire fucking resume, everything I should know. He was keep updating me. This man was involved very long time in this stuff. Um, and I said to myself, I said, oh, okay, you know, he said, this is going to be a big marriage. I said, oh, okay. He said, and that's why we have Harry here today. Uh, and I said, yeah, right. Uh, and from what I see, this is really a big marriage. I see that this news is all over the internet. Uh, but the one taking advantage of this news is Vladimir Putin. He got to the room straight through Putin. Putin, Putin is trying to create Russia again. How can I say? Russians, uh, you know, this is like a nation like uh, not too long ago, these are like a fucking half literate people basically for me to explain about their culture who they are it's about but not as bad as serbs let's say serbs under ottoman empire were not allowed to go to schools they did not how to know how to read write they kept them like fucking illiterate uh with a certain purpose of course too that's how they wanted the colonies, uh, Turkish Empire wanted their colonies to look like. They were part of the Ottoman Empire for like 500 years, a colony basically. So these people were like backwards, man, backwards. Uh, that also is the reason why Yugoslavia did not stood any chance because you moved the capital city to the place where people were still completely illiterate. They were barely getting themselves up from knees, basically, through the kingdom of the SHS, of the Serbs, Croats, Slovenians, uh, with that being a Zagreb, and with the Serbs respect more other cultures, have more. Um, I am not going to refer to as tolerance, because this should be like a brotherly nation and this, it, it came out as evidence there's no nothing in between these issues really uh and when it comes to tolerance tolerance is something else now tolerance is more that applies to a variety of different ethnicities races and stuff like this so th th this this was just something bound to go wrong in my opinion I don't like idea about imperialism in Russia because Russia got up. Uh, they heavily improved, the country heavily improved itself, literacy rate, uh, much did caught up step with the world. Unfortunately, they applied few very bad mechanisms that set the country backwards again, like Stalin did very good after Second World War, but did very poorly afterwards with the time as no fear mongering ruling does not good to any system that kind of stuff also had traumatic consequences and that actually kills the will and people for um you know creation individuality of course certain formulas they applied through what they refer to as a communism it was actually just a brain killing of the people. In reality, Western world is far more communist than what the Soviet Union used to be. In a Western world, you have a certain portion of population that live happily, and you have the rest of the people that work from month to month, basically. It's concentrated on obtaining from the people as much as possible. Um, basically through investments in people uh, to take back not only whatever is earned through those investments but actually to get rid of the people basically to waste them uh, it's not really some kind of a social justice applied mechanism I would rate this 
uh, but it's more toward those kind of ideals Stalin dreamed about, believe it or not. Uh, the times have tremendously changed, folks. The U.S. no longer is what it used to be, you know. The wonderful countries, the wealthiest countries, as they say, in the West, are the countries that are not developed. What that means is where the colonial foot is not set yet. That's where the people, the immigrants, where they go, they still have a chance to get around, get some extra, and so on. But that comes with the cost of all kinds of dangers and so on. So not back in homelands, not back in Britain, not back in the U.S. It's, it's, it's where every millimeter, they could, they would, if they could, they would even charge you for oxygen, in my opinion. So in respect to this, global social rights for me to say uh, Russia is making big step big leap backwards in time going backwards disregarding everything Russia learned about and it includes the human rights issues which are going to be applied also against domestically against the Russian people you already see what the hell is going on so me not being a big fan of that I am a capitalist with my mind is set on capitalism uh, with a strong social you know sense for uh, let me put it this way I said to myself yesterday I said I don't think I could keep uh, to myself money and goodies observing other people around me uh, say in Slovenian bosses it means without shoes without having anything to wear or eat I don't think I would be capable to do that but that's exactly the Western imperialistic ideas are based on those kind of uh, issues. And one, if they would get this world down to knees and control one completely, make no mistake, you guys would go back to being hungry and without shoes. Trust me, you would. Uh, because it's, it's like this. It's the way it's done. In my case, these people have almost proven that I killed myself by engaging in economy for their well-being and foremost for the well-being of Britain and of course also here people in Eastern Europe for creating them a profit it was the profit that they used against me so it's the principle they use i think since ages that's what you get is a pay that's your remuneration so i'm not a big fan of that stuff and i say to russia today if you hear this don't do this shit to yourself uh you can have a capitalists you can have a people that have a strong mindset on social justice uh that are ambitious that want to build that want to create that are capable you don't need to do this kind of shit to yourself and by doing that kind of stuff trust me on a long term if you create if you manage to create stability in a country and you should not refrain yourself from giving a chance to the people that are capable don't go and repeat mistake from the Balkans uh, that it needs to be done backwards, that it needs to be done just for whatever bullshit that is written. Give yourself a chance and prosper yourself so that society as whole can benefit from it. And don't do that kind of stuff. Just set something somewhere uh, for some kind of I don't e even know how I would refer to this as ideas uh, ideologies 
do it this properly do it so that you can benefit from within as a society as whole nobody that is if you get the person that is normal there is not a single fucking person that's normal that's gonna go and is gonna go and screw the rest of the society if it's normal once he gets to the money his idea is to make more money his idea is to see you doing well his idea is to build new things so he can see himself in you basically in your shoes so he see you going inside of the store and getting products that you need that were produced at home uh, he wants you to see when you go to work that you bring enough home so there is a car and that your kids are well being taken care of in the school and so on and so forth nobody normal that is normal that is a normal person ambitious person wants to put a chain around the neck to you and basically strangle you with your own work like the cases in London that's why I'm not a fan of this shit I'm not a fan of it because I don't want to end up in a society where people eat from what they shit basically and eat that stuff and shit so they can eat I don't want to end up in that kind of society we have gone through that stuff that stuff did not did not did to us no good you don't want to be evaluated according to the size of the state to the number of the people inside of the state you don't want to be seen like a piece of property like a meal basically right so that your royalty can be manipulated either manipulated become their agent or eventually will use you to destroy him because if he would be too loyal that's how they do it you don't want this stuff you want the state a republic a democracy the laws in place that's just my gesture you made a tremendous step forward don't make a leap backwards 100 years don't go into that you will do nothing good likely you will never save yourself this time around because of all kinds of technologies they have invented of which the worst are surveillance systems the spy cameras a million applications this electronic world chips and all shit you're not gonna save yourself this time don't do this to yourself and to the humanity i call for the rest of the people to do the same thing basically so uh the man my romano did have a marriage Ay, ay, ay. The villa, what I can tell you about this guy Romanov. This guy, this guy was here early in this house and he, he was nice, but he wouldn't come around, you know, he wouldn't come occasionally, but not much. But Rome, I think he was in Rome, and I remember how he got his um, job. I don't know what was in like in. 2002 I think the career started to get better uh, that was a big improvement for him he reported to me this guy was always very nice this guy was always very nice person with me uh, he's a good buddy of Berlusconi they help him out get up um, in um, He's with this lady for already quite some time. And um, I'm thinking about when he got this villa, what year was this? I am thinking about because I was there. He had some other location and I think, I think that with this lady, I think the year was like 2005, I think something like this happened that he 
that he with her that they I think it was something like this that they went to this village this is still the same one um, so that might be said It appeared to me that he wanted this marriage with a passion, you know, and he was all crazy about this marriage. He was, he was like, he wanted to make sure that I hear this, that this, this is going to be the marriage, okay? He, he was, he dreamed about it. It appeared to me that he, he spent uh, a considerable amount of time thinking about uh, about waiting for this day to come for his marriage so i wish him and his bride all the best i think they're a nice couple i like the idea that they were so uh yeah he got upset one time with me and this bride too whatever i don't even know uh, but not the last time we saw ourselves when we met, he appeared to be very calm and very, uh, he was completely at peace with himself. And um, I believe yeah, this thing was probably most likely, then was this, this stuff was then financed probably literally through the Buckingham Palace, this marriage then. The Buckingham Palace basically paid for this marriage. And so, what can I say? I wish all the best to two of them on this newlyweds on the road to life. No. Don't know what else I would come up with. He has this picture inside. The interior is like you know, and like um, like, like yeah, you know, kind of. The the most, the most, the main thing in that in that in that um, the interior is like um, this kind of reminded me of this um, palace along the Black Sea that Putin has it's this kind of furniture that kind of stuff but the main thing was that picture the picture was the main thing he does have this picture and then this picture is um, not with the queen this is the thing that's what I'm trying to say this is a picture where he does have whom mom probably I would say not father but mom I think it was a good friend with uh, a good friend <laughs> relatives with but this is the thing I suppose that uh, then it should be with all the uh, not directly queen or something like that but her sister or something like that like a cousin or something like that oh yeah it must have been then something like cousins or something like that in that sense he didn't say to me this is a like in a sense that she was a queen this lady here that you see british queen or something like that like princess anne to elizabeth as a sister but uh, it appeared to me that that this is just like women bodies basically bodies friends cousins basically in that sense you understand so it wasn't that uh, hello that's my mom and that's a queen of Britain next to her or she's next to a British queen or something like that but no 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 that was like uh, something in that sense like my mom was a, a cousin of tra 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 and that's uh, that's all there is to it now so he didn't want to have any kind of uh, stuff from harry or myself <laughs> back then 
so that's all there was about this big wedding of Romanovs. No. This is this is a humble guy. This is not. This is not a. This is not some kind of guy that would go and uh, uh, you know work his way with idea to fucking harm you, man. Like <laughs> you have no idea what kind of stuff I map. Uh, th this is more like a like a buddy next door you grew up with in that sense. This is not. This is not definitely not Putin. This is definitely not Putin. This is definitely not a worm that uh, would come out of nowhere and start to threaten you how he's going to destroy your life and, uh, you know, do all kinds of sickening shit uh, and basically build his entire career. On creating... what the Russians became famous about in Ukraine, basically Holodomor. No, this is, this is not Putin. This is just a different, totally different personality, I'm gonna say. However, it's Putin who's gonna take advantage of him too. <laughs> That's how that works. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.